Well, there's a, I've just been off an interview uh, with our Lady of Lahaina, uh, Tracy, who has been giving us an update on what's happened. And there is some very, very uh, dark stuff that has come out indeed. So let's begin before we go on to John Pelletier, and I want you to remember that name. Um, so we've got the uh, Governor Green uh, turning around and throwing his secretary under the bus because he didn't want to answer the questions, so he stormed out of the uh, housing meeting uh, and left the area, leaving his uh, secretary to take the absolute brunt of everybody's anger. Uh, we have a death toll of 115, which hasn't gone anywhere in the last few weeks whatsoever, uh, but they've, we've gone down from 2,000 missing to 1,000 missing to 388 missing to 66 missing, and the death toll hasn't climbed whatsoever. Uh, We've also got a mayor who said he didn't know there was a fire. That seems very odd, doesn't it? Uh, we're also looking at a uh, <laughs> a wonderful Governor Green once again turning around and saying uh, that uh, it is Russian and Chinese disinformation to talk about direct energy weapons, uh, land grabs, or indeed missing children. And uh, while we come on to the missing children, let's do that. Uh, 3,001 were enrolled on the island we actually uh, have or uh, the Our Lady of Lahaina uh, has the actual enrolment record. Uh, now 900 odd are uh, accounted for leaving 2,025 children unaccounted for and every time somebody asks a question about that they storm out of the meeting. Isn't that odd? Uh, so let's also let's have a little look also now at John Pelletier. So John Pelletier seems to have the same sort of effect on people that Victoria Newland does. Uh, let's go through some of the things that he was. Uh, so he he was a captain in the Las Vegas police force and he was involved in the uh, Las Vegas shootings. He, he was present while they were going on with the mass shooting in Las Vegas. Um, in 2021, his uh, private secretary uh, drove their car into a tree while chasing a purse snatcher at 4.40 in the morning. Uh, she didn't seem to find the purse snatcher though. Uh, so we await more information on that one. Uh, and obviously he was around uh, and putting up barricades to force people or telling his people to put up barricades and force people to go back into the fires uh, after telling them to turn around. And when they wouldn't turn around, they actually blocked them. And some people in four wheel drives had to drive around to get out. So at this moment in time, we've still got 2025 uh, children missing. Uh, we've got a police chief who seems to have disasters uh, or seems to have a very unfortunate career uh, whenever he goes around. And we've got a Governor Green who is blaming uh, disinformation for the amount of missing people that are actually missing. Uh, we've also got a General Kenneth Hanna uh, who is turning around and saying that uh, uh, it is all sorts of disinformation he didn't know he was supposed to act who for days sat on his hands and didn't let the people uh, or sorry the military of Hawaii the Air Force or the Navy go and help uh, yet they've sent lots and lots of divers since to look for bodies uh, so that's what's going on at the moment and you can see the full interview of that on uh, Lee Dawson TV and the Rumble Channel uh, at some stage on Monday and I'll let you know when you can go and have a look at that. There is a lot there to talk about and even a lot more is unpacked in the video. So please, if you get a minute, uh, do go and have a look at that because this thing very much needs to be kept alive and the authorities are trying to sweep this very quietly under the, the carpet and there are many, many more questions that need to be answered.